going on? Welcome back to Core Kids Revival TV, and I'm so excited that you are here, my friend. Listen, this is a place that you can get the Word of God in you, you can get equipped, you can get built up, you can grow and learn in the things of God. And I am so proud of you for tuning in every Saturday at 10 a.m. to Core Kids Revival TV. It's been powerful. I'm getting to know you, you're getting to know me. By the way, if you don't know me, my name is Jenny Weaver, and I am just a servant of God, and I love that you get to be on with me. Hey, before we get started, can you do me a favor, please? Can you click like, subscribe, share, the bell, the notif- Can you just do all the things that you know to do on YouTube, and if you don't know how to do it, say, hey, mom, dad, can you help me out? We need to, you know, give this video a little love. So please do all those things. And I have an announcement. We are hosting our very first Core Kids Revival Summer Camp this July in Orlando, Florida, July 14th and the 15th. We are going to preach, pray, and prophesy. We're gonna build the kids up. There's gonna be prophetic activations. There's gonna be powerful worship. It is going to be an incredible time. We're gonna be doing deliverance. We're gonna be doing the things that Jesus has called us to do. And this is a free event that we are offering to a limited amount of kids that can come who are a part of the core group. And if you're not a part of the core group, your mom and dad is listening, moms, get in the mentorship because we allow you to join in the mentorship, which is kind of like a you know revival type school. And then you get all the things that come with it. And so your kids will be involved in core kids. So let's get into today's lesson. Are you ready? Drum roll, please. That wasn't a good drum roll, but maybe we can play one. Okay, that was better. All right, so today I wanna to talk to you about a prophetic word. What is a prophetic word? This is a word of the Lord that God gives to his children who are listening to him. And it is for a season, it is for a situation, it is for a group of people so that we can be directed into what God wants us to be directed into. And so God began to speak to me about a children's revival. There is a movement that is stirring right now amongst children. Listen, I've been saved for many years. I've seen the Holy Spirit moving on kids in different services. I love, love, love when kids come to a service and you can visit, we can actually visually see them being moved on by God. They begin to cry. Some of them fall out because the power of God is on them. They begin to go through deliverance. They begin to worship. They begin to prophesy. And it's amazing. And I've seen a little bit here and I've seen a little bit there. But the Lord began to speak to me about a massive kids movement where kids are going to blow the minds of the adults in the church world. Listen to what I'm saying. God is going to raise up kids. Doesn't matter your age. It doesn't matter your age from the youngest one to the oldest one. He's going to raise up children who will carry the fire of God, the revival fire of God, where we are, kids are actually moving and shaking up things. Do you believe it? Shout amen. We need the children to lead. And I want to give you an example. I want to give you an example of the scripture from Isaiah chapter 11, verse 6. And it says, you guys got your swords? It says, and a child will lead them. A child will lead them. What does that mean? That means even children have leadership qualities in the things of God, in the realm of the Spirit of God. Children can lead. How can you lead? You can lead by example. If God tells you, go lay hands on that person and pray for them, pray sickness off of them, prophesy over them, you move and you do it unafraid, unashamed, and guess what? People are watching. They're going, wow. And then they begin to do it. So what you're doing is you are leading. And God said in his word, a child will lead them. 
In fact, Jesus, when he was 12 years old, just a young boy, he went into the town with his parents and he began to go into the temple and to open up the scrolls and to study the word of God. And he was in there. The parents didn't even know that he was in the church. And they started to journey home. And a few days later, a few days later, hello, somebody. That's why I'm glad that we do have cell phones because I sure enough would have been calling, um, where are you at? They didn't have that. So a few days later they found out, hey, Jesus is not with us. Where is our son? And they had to travel all the way back. And guess what? They found Jesus and he was in the temple with the other men of God. And he was studying and just going through the word. And they were like, Jesus, what are you doing? Why did you leave? And he said, do you not know that I'm going to be about my father's business? And I bet you everybody that was listening didn't understand what he meant. They were probably thinking that Joseph was his father. And they're like, this is not your father's business. Your father is not a studier of the word. But Jesus was talking about his heavenly father, God. He was saying, I'm going to lead. I'm going to be about my father's business, even as a child. And that same anointing, that same power can be upon your life. Whether you're five years old, 15 years old, 50 years old, you can lead by the power of the Holy Spirit. I want to give you another verse. This one I just kind of know by heart, but it's so powerful. The Bible says something interesting is going to happen in the last days. It is a prophetic word. Are you ready? It says, in the last days, I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. This is what God is saying. He says, I'm going to pour out my spirit in the last days on all flesh. And these are the things that will happen. Your sons and your daughters will prophesy and your old men will dream dreams and your young men will have visions and so god begins to speak to us that the young people are going to be in this massive outpouring of his spirit and so i prophesy to you today in the mighty name of jesus that you will be used in this massive move of children's revival you're going to see it you're going to see kids shaking off the demonic things that the devil is trying to put on them and moving in the things of god I believe that children are going to be so sharp at preaching, it is going to shock not only the Christians, but the world as a whole. I believe that children are going to begin to lay hands and there are going to be miracles at their hands through the power of the Holy Spirit. I believe that children have the ability through God to raise the dead. This is the move that God is going to pour out on the earth. He's going to use children. I hear the Lord saying, don't count out the kids. Listen to me, child. Listen to me, my friend. God is saying, don't count yourself out. Don't think I'm too young. I can't do anything yet. I have to wait till I get older to preach. I have to wait till I get older to pray like that. I have to wait till I get older to testify and to win people to Jesus and to go and evangelize and spread the gospel. I have to wait, I have to wait. No, the wait is over. The Lord is saying, now. The Lord is saying, here. The Lord is saying, it's time. And so I just release that over you. I want to play a little clip of a mighty woman of God. She is a prophetess, meaning she hears from God and then she speaks when God tells her to speak. And she began to see this massive children's revival movement. And I want to play a clip. Her name is Prophetess Cindy Jacobs. And so listen to what she says about the children's revival coming. The Lord showed me that there is going to be a children's revival that will become a children's movement. Worship songs will be written by the children and a special emphasis on worship will take place that will bless the whole church. So what does that mean? 
dreams and visions for five-year-olds, six-year-olds, seven-year-olds. God is going to begin to show your children things, the high school students. The prophetic is going to flow. It's going to be a supernatural school. It's not going to be, it's not going to be business as usual. The training, the education is going to go to new levels, but the Lord says not only will the education go to new levels, but the Lord says the supernatural element will be put into the schools and that's going to go to new levels as well. And the Lord says it's time to emphasize the children, the children, the children, the children. The Bible says out of the mouth of babes and nursing infants you have ordained strength because of your enemies that you may silence the enemy and the avenger. Psalm 8-2. God is getting ready to lose the children and the youth to silence the Avengers. The Lord says, I'm going to from, from the three-year-olds and the even Wow, the that was powerful. Did you hear what she said? I pray that even right now, that the Holy Spirit will begin to stir up in you for revival, that you will shake things up, shake things up in your school, shake things up in your home, shake things up in your neighborhood, because God is calling you. God is saying, I need you. I need you to pray. I need you to prophesy. I need you to cast out demons. We need you, children. We need you. If you have ever felt Wow, nobody needs me. Everybody's looking me over. Everybody's forgotten about me. Not so. That's not so. I am telling you. I am telling you. We need you. In the mighty name of Jesus, I decree and declare shyness is broken off of you right now. Fear is broken off of you right now. And a Holy Ghost boldness courage and strength is coming upon you in a miraculous way even right now why don't you put your hands up to the screen as we begin to pray father i pray for my friend right now that you are stirring them up for greater things even greater things will they do in the mighty name of jesus you are going to lay hands on the sick and you're going to see them recover you're going to cast out devils you're going to see people be restored you're going to see people give their life to christ even in your family God's going to use you to minister to your family members. God's going to use you to minister to your friends. You are going to literally snatch people out of hell and put them up in heaven. In the mighty name of Jesus, God's saying, don't count yourself out. I have need of you. I need you, my son. I need you, my daughter. And so, Father, I just release that over them in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that they will come to the knowledge of truth, that they will know you like they've never known you before in their lives. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. And if you believe that, why don't you shout as loud as you can, amen and amen. Oh, I'm stirred. I'm stirred, I'm stirred, I'm stirred, I'm stirred, I'm stirred. I'm excited. I know that this is going to be the year that you are going to see great things in the kingdom of God. It's only the beginning. I want you guys to make sure that if you are doing these things, and your parents got a clip of you, you want to send it in, send it in to TV at gmail.com. There it is on the screen. Boop, boop, right there. Also, don't forget, we have Core Kids Revival Summer Camp here in Orlando, Florida, July 14th through the 15th, and we are offering it to our Core Family Kids. So make sure that if you can sign up and you can get down here, get down here. It is going to be a time of just Holy Ghost fire. It's going to be explosive. Also, we are starting a once a month night of fire for our core kids. It's an online Zoom meeting. We're going to preach, pray, prophesy. We're going to testify. We're going to encourage one another. You guys will be able to meet other kids that are like you. It's so good to meet kids where you go, wow, this kid is on fire for God like I am. This kid wants to cast out devils like I want to cast out devils. It's so good to have like-minded people. And I believe that you might just have a lifelong friend somewhere here at Core Kids. You haven't met them yet. So make sure you get connected. All the information is in the description. I love you guys so much. And stay tuned because we're going to show you some really cool video clips. Maybe some bloopers. 
And yeah, that's it. I love you. I'll see you next time for Core Kids Revival TV. Bye. Hello everybody, this is Core Kids Revival TV and I have a guest here for you. This is a man of God. He is going to tell you everything that the Lord is saying this season. Welcome, Stephen Weaver. Stephen Weaver, tell us what the Lord has been telling you to tell the kids. The Lord. Can, can I hold can the I mic, hold, please, let, let me hold sir? The, you, let me hold the mic. Okay. The Lord has been telling me that it's Florida, it's 80 degrees out, and Jenny got on a beanie <laughs> for some reason. I don't know what's going on. Oh, I'm sorry. Forget it. I don't know what's going on. Tell her to take Interrupt that beanie off. Interruption. Oh, okay. you're my finger. No, no, it is not. I don't. Okay. We're going to come back to that in, in our next episode of what is fashionable versus what is not. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs> so Ken, Ken, you fill me up, fill me up with the Holy Spirit. Could you help me fill it? Because I really want to. I really want to. So it's beautiful to Pray to the Lord. Pray to the Lord. Anyway, Amen. Amen.